New year, new me. Same me though. Hey, Qatar Bays. It's your girl, Brooke Rock, going live with the Retalk and Bay Squad. We have to talk about Funky Dineva releasing a statement of not returning to Fox Soul TGIF. So before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my favorite vegan water, and let's get into the match, shall we? So... Y'all, Funky Dineva has released a 12-minute video onto the YouTube streets, and baby, it is trending. I think when I saw it just a few minutes ago, it already had like 45,000 viewers on why he turned down Fox Soul contract, and I think it was a mutual agreement. So you had Funky Dineva over there with Claudia Jordan and Al Reynolds, and they did this show called TGIF, right? And it was something that went on during the pandemic, right? To me, I never liked it. I never liked it because to me, it just gave this vibes of ghetto. How come the talk show was on VPN? I get it. We weren't allowed to be around each other. But I felt like it was a part of the Fox umbrella. The least they could do is have them in the studio and whatnot. And everybody else would just have to stay out and just give their commentary. It gave... Just low budget, in, in my humble opinion, right? So granted, I have given my critiques on Funky Dineva, but I do feel like this, as a content creator, as a black media personality, make them pay you what you are worth. There's no reason to be taking pennies on the dollar from a billion dollar corporation, especially in a time like this. They spend money where they want to spend the money. And I get it, working somewhere to build up the network to what it needs to be is all great and all, but who wants to be a pioneer to something where it just comes across lazy, it reads low value, uh, it, it doesn't even give the better brand because granted, yes, did they go viral a couple of times? Yes, they did, right? But for all the wrong reasons, it wasn't like they were going viral for having these um, excellent, articulate talking points. It was always one or the other doing something wild to piss off one demographic or another. Granted, that's how media operates and works, but I felt like for all those viral moments, we should have upgraded to some type of studio, to some type of better equipment, lighting, etc. Now, y'all know I'm on my way to being a 10K Bay. Once we get to certain mile markers, of course, we upgrade the overall aesthetic. They were bringing in thousands upon hundreds of thousand views, and it looked cheap. That's just my overall opinion. And on top of that, they're probably getting compensated very well. And when I say they, I'm talking about Fox Soul because it's on YouTube. It was very ad friendly. You had these three grown adults giving their thoughts. So for them to not want to pay Funky Dineva and Al and Claudia Jordan did a one year contract to his six months, you already know what time it is. And the fact that they came to him literally two weeks before his contract was up is crazy. They didn't want to extend it out. And this is why I always say, you have to fight for what is yours, especially in this realm of business, right? Business is business. The rest, it's whatever. And he broke it down beautifully. So he said they ended on great terms. It's just he didn't renew his contract. And I feel like this, uh, it's the first of the month. You can build your own. You can go somewhere else where it's bigger and better. Um, granted, I didn't know he had an agent. I feel like this, Funky, maybe you need to look at your agent. Is your agent doing everything in their possibility to get you more bang for your buck? And what does that mean? Are they bringing on the deals? Are they bringing on the endorsements? Are they putting you in the spaces and the places where you need to be to capitalize off of your name as Funky Dineva? Because in my opinion, if they're not doing that, fire them. Taraji fired her people. And from there, she has been seeing all the money that was left on the table. So maybe you should do some type of evaluation of that. I don't know. But what are your thoughts on this base squad? Y'all know this was brought up in my previous live of the first of the month. Y'all know it's the first of the month. Happy New Year. I feel like this. Do what's best for you because everybody is always going to do what's best for them. And on that note, what are your thoughts, base? Comment down below. I got to go. Bye, hoes.